Lisa Bannister Top 10 Movies Lisa Baines, a film and television actress whose credits include Gone Girl and A Cure for Wellness, died 10 days after being hit by a hit-and-run motorist in New York City. She was 65 years old at the time. According to the New York Police Department, Baines died on Monday, June 14 at Mount Sinai Morningside Hospital. A pedestrian was struck by an unknown scooter or motorcycle near the junction of West 64th Street and Amsterdam Avenue on June 4, according to the NYPD. According to the NYPD, the scooter did not stop and departed the scene. The pedestrian was transported to Mount Sinai Hospital and eventually identified as Baines. Who was Lisa Baines? Lisa who was born in Ohio on July 9, 1955, had a long career in film and television. Baines was born and reared in Colorado, but went to Jelliard School of Art in New York City. Her debut acting role was in the 1984 film The Hotel New Hampshire, in which she co-starred with Rob Lowe and Jodie Foster. The actress went on to feature in a number of TV programs, including Nashville, Sex Women, Royal Pains, and The Orville, which premiered in 2017. On the big screen, Baines played Bonnie, Tom Cruise's elder love interest, in 1988's Cocktail, and Christina Ricci's mother in the film Pumpkin. In 2014, Baines co-starred with Ben Affleck in the film adaption of Gone Girl. Mary Beth Elliott, the mother of Rosamund Pike's character Amy Elliott, was played by her. She also made many appearances on Broadway. Baines appeared in the 1988 drama Rumors opposite Christine Baranski, in the 1998 musical High Society with Anna Kendrick, and most recently in the 2010 production of Present Laughter with Victor Garber. Lisa Bannister Top 10 Movies Number 10. Miami Rhapsody. Sarah Jessica Parker, Gil Bellows, Antonio Banderas, Mia Farrow, Paul Mazursky, Kevin Pollock, Barbara Garrick, and Carla Gugino feature in the 1995 romantic comedy film Miami Rhapsody. David Frankel wrote, co-produced, and directed it in his feature directorial debut, with music by Mark Isham. Number 9. Pumpkin. Pumpkin is a romantic dark comedy film starring Christina Ricci, that was released in 2002. It's the story of a developmentally disabled young man's illicit love for a sorority girl. Anthony Abrams and Adam Larson Broder directed the film, which Broder also wrote. Pumpkin had a limited release in the United States on June 28, 2002. In its debut weekend, it grossed $30,514 in eight theaters, with a per-screen average of $3,814. The following weekend, the picture was increased to 19 theaters, but the number of theaters dwindled from there. Pumpkin's theatrical run ended four months later with a total gross of $308,552. Number 8. Dragonfly. Kevin Costner stars in Tom Shadyak's mystical fantasy thriller Dragonfly, which was released in 2002. A heartbroken doctor is visited by his late wife through one of his patients' near-death experiences in this narrative. Critics lambasted the picture, and it bombed at the box office, making $52.3 million against a $60 million budget. Number 7. A Family Torn Apart A Family Torn Apart, also known as Sudden Fury, is a 1993 American made-for-television criminal drama film, directed by Craig R. Baxley. It is based on Leslie Walker's novel Sudden Fury, a true incident of adoption and murder, which is based on a true story. Number 6. The Hotel New Hampshire 
Tony Richardson wrote and directed The Hotel New Hampshire, a 1984 comedy drama film based on John Irving's 1981 novel of the same name. It stars Jodie Foster, Bo Bridges, Rob Lowe, and Nastas Jakinski, as well as Wilford Brimley, Amanda Plummer, Matthew Modine, and Seth Green, and is a co-production between the UK, Canada, and the US. The film follows the Barry family as they face adversity after adversity, and manage to stay going despite it all. Author Irving claimed in an introductory prologue for a subsequent version of the work, that he was ecstatic when Richardson informed him, that he intended to adapt the book to the film. Irving said that he was pleased with the adaptation, with the exception, that he believed Richardson strove to make the picture too true to the book, observing how Richardson would frequently speed up the action, in order to fit more material on screen. On March 9, 1984, Orion Pictures released The Hotel New Hampshire, a film known for its cast of eccentric characters. Although it was a movie office disappointment, making $5.1 million against a $7.5 million budget, reviewers lauded it for its storyline, acting, and accurate adaptation. Number 5. Marie. Marie, also known as Marie, A True Story, is a 1985 American biographical film starring Sissy Spasek as Marie Raggianti, the former head of the Tennessee Board of Pardons and Paroles who was removed from office in 1977, after refusing to release prisoners for whom bribes had been paid to Governor Ray Blanton's aides. Raggianti, a single mother and political appointee, was harassed for refusing to participate in the corrupt atmosphere with which she was presented, for their participation in the affair, two of Blanton's aides faced charges. The film was based on Peter Moss's book Marie, A True Story. The film was directed by Roger Donaldson, and the script was written by John Riley, who is best known for his work on Gandhi. Jeff Daniels, Keith Sarabajka, Morgan Freeman, Fred Thompson, Lisa Baines, John Cullum, Graham Beckel, and Macon McCalman also appeared in the film. Number 4. A Cure for Wellness. A Cure for Wellness is a psychological horror film directed by Gore Verbinski and written by Justin Haith, based on a narrative co-authored by Haith and Verbinski, both of whom were inspired by Thomas Mann's novel The Magic Mountain, published in 1924. The storyline concerns a young executive who is dispatched to rescue a colleague from a secret rehabilitation clinic in the Swiss Alps, starring Dane Dehan, Jason Isaacs, and Mia Goth. The film was shot on location in several German locales, including a Henselern castle in Baden-Württemberg, as part of an international co-production headquartered in the United States, Germany, and Luxembourg. The film was released on February 17, 2017 by 20th Century Fox to mixed reviews, with critics praising its visuals, cinematography, performances, and ambition while criticizing its length, narrative, and structure. It was a box office flop, grossing only $26 million against a $40 million production budget. Number 3. Young Guns. Young Guns is a biographical Western film directed by Christopher Kane and written by John Fusco, that was released in 1988. Morgan Creek Productions is the company's debut feature film. Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, Charlie Sheen, Dermot Mulroney, Casey Simasco, Terence Stamp, Terry O'Quinn, Brian Keith, and Jack Palin's feature in the picture, which is directed by Terence Stamp. The film is a recounting of Billy the Kid's exploits during the Lincoln County War, which occurred in New Mexico between 1877 and 1878. The film was shot in and around New Mexico. As of June 1990, historian Paul Hutton deemed Young Guns to be the most historically accurate of all Billy the Kid films. It debuted at the top of the box office, grossing $56 million against a $11 million budget. Young Guns to a sequel, was published in August 1990. 
Despite official reviewers' reservations, the film was a box office success, grossing $45.7 million in the United States and Canada. It made $11 million internationally, bringing the total to $56 million globally. Number 2. Cocktail. Cocktail is a 1988 romantic comedy drama film directed by Roger Donaldson and written by Haywood Gould, based on his novel of the same name. The film follows the narrative of Brian Flanagan, a young New York City business student who takes up bartending to make ends meet. Tom Cruise, Ryan Brown, and Elizabeth Shue appear in the picture. Cocktail includes an original music soundtrack created by J. Peter Robinson, and was released on July 29, 1988, by Walt Disney Pictures, under its adult picture label Touchstone Pictures. Despite receiving mostly poor reviews from critics and winning the Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Picture, the picture was a tremendous box office hit, generating over $170 million worldwide on a $20 million budget. Number 1. Gone Girl Gone Girl is a psychological thriller film directed by David Fincher and written by Gillian Flynn, based on her novel of the same name published in 2012. The film is a postmodern mystery set in Missouri that chronicles the events surrounding Nick Dunn, Ben Affleck, who becomes the primary suspect in his wife Amy's unexpected disappearance, Rosamund Pike. Neil Patrick Harris and Tyler Perry also feature in the film. On September 26, 2014, the film made its global debut at the 52nd New York Film Festival, ahead of a countrywide cinema release on October 3. The film was a critical and financial success, generating $369 million on a $61 million budget, making it Fincher's highest-earning picture. Critics praised Pike's portrayal, and she was nominated for an Academy Award, a BAFTA Award, a Golden Globe Award, and a Screen Actors Guild Award for Best Actress. Fincher received a Golden Globe Award for Best Director, as well as Golden Globe, BAFTA, and Critics' Choice Award nominations for his adapted screenplay, which won the Critics' Choice Award. If you like this video and you want to see more like it make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell, so you get notified every single time a new video goes live.